So here we've got some serious planter fertilizer storage capacity. This is a 2,000 gallon Yetter all steer cart. Um, you've seen us, of course, mount a lot of tanks on, on planters to add storage, uh, but this one kind of takes the cake. 2,000 gallon, of course, it's towable, obviously. Um, but if you're wanting to cover some acres on your planter, one of these would be the way to go. We sold this one last week and we had to get it plumbed up for the customer. And so we're in here getting that tidied up right now. We've got a three inch fill to pull out of his storage tanks into here, put in a filter to keep from getting junk inside the tank. That three inch of course goes up here to the bung. There's a valve right here to turn on and off. That way, if anything were to happen with this hose, you would have a valve right here on each side of the bung. We always try to do that. Valve on this side, valve on that side. Um, that way you're minimizing your risk of a, a leak that empties the entire tank. So we always put a protective valve on each side. And then we go two inch going forward because uh, going forward is going up to the planter. And so we ran that all the way up the hitch here to right here. So this will hook up to his planter. He's got a female cam lock on the planter and uh, be good to go. He's actually not going to, at this time, not going to use this front 400 gallon tank. So we do not have that one tied in. A lot of guys will either run a separate product in there or they will link those two tanks together to have a full 2,000 gallon of a single product capacity. So that's how we add some serious storage uh, to a planter this spring. So if, you, if you're looking to add some serious storage, we've got some 16 and 2,000 gallon tanks available. This one's going to go out for delivery next week. Now, this is where you lock in the all steer mechanism. When you, you've got this linkage right here. It's a linkage that runs from the rear axle up to the front axle. When you connect it right here to the front and you turn that tongue, it will drag this rear axle up with it. And they're, they're at this point tied together. You'll do that in the field so that the front tires and the rear tires are in the same track. When you're not in the field, you pull this pin and put it up here, and that is on road transport mode. That's for higher speeds and uh, travel that way. So you can easily uh, lock it in and out of all steer function, and that's a handy deal for when you're turning. You don't get multiple tire tracks going around. So it'll follow right in behind the tractor. So. All right, that's what we're doing today, getting this all-steer fertilizer cart ready for spring. Thanks for tuning in.